Only a few days later, Natasha walked into a shoe store. Again, she felt drawn to one particular shoe. It was the very same one she had tried on at the market. And again, the second one of the pair could not be found anywhere. So the single shoe was no use for her. Some time passed and Natasha all but forgot about the mysterious shoe. She was strolling down the promenade when a street vendor approached her. He had something that he insisted she must take a look at. This time Natasha could not say no. Even if she would not use it, she had to buy the strange single shoe. Now she knew why she had to buy a single shoe. And the very first time she was wearing it in public, she found the missing one of the pair.
So fate had decided that Natasha and Lena should be friends. And more than just friends. They were so close to each other that sometimes they felt like a single person. When we all moved to the swimming pool, Anna and Julia were faster than the rest of us. While they were waiting, Julia asked why none of the girls was wearing a prosthesis. Anna explained that the prosthesis can be very useful, but most of the time the girls preferred to show themselves the way they really are. And sometimes a prosthesis can even create misunderstandings. A while before, a new co-worker had introduced himself to Anna. He was moving into the office next to hers. Unfortunately, he had no idea that Anna was an amputee. The solution was simple. It was a very hot day and everybody was dripping with sweat. Anna's prosthesis became uncomfortable, so she decided to take it off and put it out on the balcony to dry. <laughs> <laughs> 